So I have something really big for you guys today. Um, as a gift, I have this, okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning. I have this friend, Jenna, and I love her to death. And she's like one of my best friends in the whole world. And I wanted to do something really nice for her uh, because I missed her birthday last year. Uh, and I missed her birthday the year before that because I was uh, in Florida. And now that I'm back in New York, uh, I wanted to do something really special for her because she, she, she's not the type of person who ever like gets herself something nice. Um, so I wanted to do that. So I got her the iPad 10.2 and I got her uh, a pencil to go along with it. She's always wanted to do digital art and she's always wanted to delve into that world but she's never been able to do it for herself so I got her that and I'm so excited to give it to her today. We're going to meet up at a cafe that's called Gunks. It's one of our favorites and I am so excited for her to be able to start this journey. I'm so excited for her to be able to just have something that's hers and that she could do what she wants with it and take notes and, and be organized and whatever and anyways yeah so I'm so excited to give it to her and I'm gonna try to film it. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to, but we'll see. So this is the cafe that we normally sit at. We meet up every Tuesday and Thursday to draw together now, um, but after this video is taken. But this is my friend Jenna setting up the new iPad and we're just super excited for her to start this art journey. Hey guys, so I've just been feeling kind of, I feel like I'm always just kind of feeling bummed out, but maybe that's just me, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm always just perpetually lonely and perpetually sad, it's kind of like a running theme here on this channel, but I mean, I don't know, that's why I kind of make cute art, not gonna lie, um, it makes me happy, and if that makes other people happy, that's super cool too. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to share this process with you all of making my background, I just like doing simple, chunky, like, colorful art, like, I don't know, a lot of people like to judge me for it, a lot of people like to say like that it's super simple and that's easy and then a five-year-old could do it or whatever, and you know what, the, whatever, I'd like to see a five-year-old do it, that's totally cool, like, fuck, we could do art together, um, <laughs> but the thing is, is, I just make art for myself, I make it because it makes me happy and if it makes other people happy, that's super cool too, um, if not, like, okay, bye. Like, you don't have to appreciate it. You don't have to like it. I'm not asking you to. That's, like, kind of the beauty of art and the beauty of poetry and writing and everything within that kind of umbrella of art is that it's all subjective. Um, so, yeah. So, while my friend Jenna was setting up her iPad and doing all the settings and such, I was drawing this pi this piece of my cat as an upside-down strawberry this time. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make him into anything other than a sticker, uh, which is actually right up right now in my shop. You can go check it out. The uh, links will be in my bio or on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, to my Etsy shop. I do have like an actual website, but the reason why I don't use it as of right now is because like formatting it is so like hard and I feel like I'm just not doing it right. So I definitely need some help on that as on that like whole aspect of like converting my Etsy to my website. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes. But I don't know. Lately, I've just been feeling really anxious and really, like, kind of down about art in general. I feel like it sucks that we're pitted against each other. And I feel like it sucks that art as a whole, like, is, you know, under fire now with this whole AI art, you know. Let's just get this out of the way. AI art and AI anything is not supported on this channel. We do not support AI art here. Um, yeah, it takes from artists and yeah, don't use the disability card because most people that are disabled enjoy doing art on their own. So anyways, uh, even within my writing, it's kind of hard because people are now submitting books that are written by chat GPT or whatever the fuck it's called. And it's just a shame and I, I, I don't support it. So it just creates a lot of anxiety within me knowing that it's literally hailing outside. I don't know if you could see. I 
I'm so sorry, you guys, that I don't film more throughout the week. Um, my ADHD is really bad, and it's really detrimental to my life, um, as well as my OCD. Uh, and I'm also bipolar. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sharing that, but um, it causes a lot of issues when it comes to executive functioning, and it causes a lot of issues when it comes to me remembering things, and... I feel like these little vlogs are just fun ways for me to remember things because my memory is really, really bad. Um, and I like looking back on them. And I like looking back on these happy moments of me just drawing in cafes with my friends. Um, but the reality of it is that I don't always have time to film and I always, and I always forget to film, not gonna lie. I'm a very live in the present kind of person. So I always forget to film when I'm seeing cool things or when I'm doing things. Um, even this order. So I got an order the other day, which I was super excited about. Um, this is me packing the order for one of my customers. She ordered a uh, avocado keychain, and then I gave her a little freebie sticker. And I like to put them in these bags, but I like to secure them in the brown paper bag just so it has like a little bit more of like a naturalistic feel to it. I don't know why, but I also like it just because I had these other bigger plastic bags to ship them in, but I didn't want anything that was too, like, horrible environmentally, so I like using these brown paper bags. Um, just to keep everything safe, and I've noticed that they actually protect the stickers really, really well, so, I mean, kudos to me, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then at the end, I just kind of, like, top it off with this little, like, thank you sticker. And yeah, so like this is me packing an order for my shop. It was actually the first order in a long time, so I'm actually really happy about it. Um, but yeah, so next you're going to see some speed runs, or not speed runs, but like kind of like drawing processes of my drawing. Um, I like to use a lot of um, mirrored effects, I guess, because I like to keep them really symmetrical. Um, or at least now I do. My, my original art wasn't always like that. Um, but yeah, so this is me drawing my cat. My original one was drawing my younger cat, Pico. Um, it's giving very big Pico vibes for my younger cat. Um, but I made him orange, like my older cat, because I kind of want it to be like a mix of both. Uh, but at the same time, also, I haven't really gotten the coloring yet, like, on my other cat. Like, it's just kind of complicated, his patterns, so I haven't really delved into it much. Um, and then... Like, what else do I have to update you guys on? Uh, writing, yeah. So when it comes to writing, I'm currently writing a YA LGBT romance slash coming of age novel, um, as well as a second poetry book I'm also writing. And um, I'm super excited about it. I'm also super nervous. Um, I've never really written a novel before. I've only ever written poetry. And it's just kind of intimidating, but at the same time, it's a really fun challenge that I'm up for. Um, if you guys want to check out my poetry book, it's called Older. You can find it on Amazon. Um, I'll add the links in my description if you're interested. Um, but yeah, it's about the kind of grief that comes with getting older and that no one really talks about. But yeah, so I wanted to share that with you guys because I know this channel is about art, but I upload the videos like on my art channel and my writing channel, but I I'm thinking of just combining them. I don't know. We'll see. Because um, like, I'm super like very, very particular about the way that I like thing keeping things separate, but I've noticed that that kind of... I don't know, a lot of people say to keep things niche, but at the same, like, keep your accounts niche to, like, whatever niche you're in. But at the same time, I struggle with that because I feel like so much of my life just bleeds into each other. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this channel goes. If I just keep it dedicated to art or dedicated to, you know, writing. Um, bottom line is, it's mostly art and writing and it's mostly about my life. So I just wanted to share these little, like, moments with you guys, um, because they're fun, and they make me happy, and I hope they make other people happy too, and I hope they inspire you. Um, because I think what's important to remember is that art is subjective. Like, you don't have to like it, you don't have to love it, but even if you just appreciate it a little bit for what it is, like, that's totally okay. I think we've fallen too far into a pit of, like, cancel culture and everything else in society that... It feels like if we don't like something, that it's bad. When that is not true at all. Like, just because you don't like something doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's not for you. Um, but 
It's a little bit complicated explaining that to close-minded people. Um, it makes things actually very, very frustrating. Um, and that's another thing that I struggle with lately. Um, not really rejection sensitivity in me, but more so like dealing with people that I don't necessarily agree with or dealing with people that are very close-minded and that, you know, specific type of person that we, uh, we all know which one I'm talking about. Um, the one that just hates other people and spews hate all the time, constantly. Boomers is another one. I feel like I genuinely don't get along with many boomers. Um, it's because I was raised by boomers. And it's just something that I really need to work on, I guess, within myself because sometimes I just feel like they're intolerable. But at the end of the day, I think what's important to remember is that it's, you know, if something's not your cup of tea, just move on and try your best. I'm not perfect, I'm far from perfect. But what's important to remember is that I always try my best, I guess. And I feel like that's something that I need to remind myself more of because I'm such... We are our own worst critics. <clears throat> we are very much our own worst critics. And my thing is, well, I wouldn't talk to a friend that way. So why am I talking to myself that way? I have to treat myself just like any other human being because I am a human being. And whether I like it or not something that I like to do when I'm feeling anxious is check the facts. So I look at, I turn off all my emotions and I say, okay, what are the facts of the situation? And I found that that helps me a lot, actually. Um, it helps me a lot deal with my anxiety. Uh, but yeah, so it's just something I wanted to share with you all that like, just because you don't like something doesn't mean that it's bad. I don't know. I don't know why I keep reiterating that, but 